Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to use some of our picture frame mockups in Photoshop. Instead of sharing your designs and photos as flat images, these mockups will help your work look a lot more elegant and upscale. That's always a good thing if you're trying to make money because the final product just looks more expensive. Many of our mockups use smart objects, so these same steps apply to a lot of other products as well. So I'm just going to kind of start at the bottom of our layers panel and work my way up. So the first thing that you'll notice is this layer group called backgrounds and within that are a bunch of preset backgrounds to choose from. All you need to do to change the background is turn these eyeball icons on and off and you'll see that the background automatically changes. Of course you can also paste in your own background if you want to. Next you'll see a collection of other layer groups and those are all the frames. So you'll see that the one showing right now is the vertical brown frame and if I turn that off and turn some of these other ones on, you'll see that you get different frames, mats, and sample photos. Now if I expand the brown frame layer group, you'll see inside all the different elements that make up that frame. So at the bottom we have wire hanger, and you can see the wire hanger up top has a little nail and some wire. And you can turn that on and off just by clicking the eyeball icon. Just above that is the canvas color, and if I double click that thumbnail, it brings up the color picker. So when I start changing the colors, you'll see that the corners of my canvas start to change to whatever color I choose. So I'm just going to leave that at white and hit OK. And just above that is your actual artwork. So if you don't even want the canvas color to show in the corners, all you have to do is right click this layer mask and choose Disable Layer Mask. So now let's look at replacing our artwork. All you have to do is double click this little smart object thumbnail to open it up in a new window. So I've already opened this other photo that I want to use and I'm just going to press Ctrl A to select it, Ctrl C to copy, and back within my smart object I'm going to paste it and move it to the top in my layers panel. Now if I come up and close my smart object and save it, you'll see that it will automatically update within my mockup. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see this more easily, but if I go to my photo canvas layer group and expand this little arrow, you'll see that I've added a pattern overlay with layer styles. So you can always come in here and increase the opacity of your canvas, as well as the scale if you want to change the look. Just above that you'll see the matte color. So if I double click my matte layer thumbnail, I can use the color picker and just change the color of my matte super easily. And it's always a good idea to sample a color from your image and then use varying tones and shades of that for your matte. Again, if I zoom in and expand the layer styles for my matte, you can go into the pattern overlay and change the opacity, scale, and even the pattern of your matte. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink that layer group, and just above that you'll see special effects. All these are are different adjustment layers with preset settings. So you can turn them on individually and see that they change the look of the image. Or you can highlight one in the layers panel and change the fill percentage to increase or decrease the effect that it has. Or you can even turn on multiple layers to get a really special look. Lastly, up at the top you'll see a curves adjustment layer named Vignette. So of course you can turn that on and off to get rid of your vignette, or you can adjust the curve to make it darker or lighter. These mockups are super easy to use, and since they can be customized, you can easily repurpose them for a lot of different projects. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.